Definitely. It definitely does add a little bit of anxiety to kind of make sure that I'm doing stuff fast enough. Am I keeping up with stuff? Am I like, I don't know. It, you're also your own boss in a sense, especially when you don't have management. Um, so you kind of just have to stay on top of yourself. But if you're on top of yourself and it's not somebody else, sometimes it feels like this weird relationship with yourself where you're kind of like, not your own worst enemy, but like your own drill sergeant and it kind of, it can, since you're the person demanding more, but you're also the creative, I feel like those two kind of thoughts can really clash and create like a creative job for sure. Yeah, so there's definitely like, I feel like with any artist or any like creative for that matter, there's gonna be points where your brain just isn't in a creative flow. And if that's your whole identity is being a creative person, it can really make you feel like you're not suited for it. And it can make you feel like extremely down because it's like, well, this is literally like my identity. How am I failing at that, you know? So it's like, in those low points, it's like, I'll get a little frustrated with myself and that I can't create the type of thing that I want to create. And it's like, what that really makes me do is it makes me want to just create a lot more and then that can either get you out of it or it can make you kind of fall deeper into it if you're not super satisfied with those ideas. Working in this creative field, it definitely impacts my mental health. Um, it's very polarizing because like, it can either make you feel like you are just the best and you're like just, you're the amazing, like better than everyone, or it can just make you feel like you're not really best fitted for like, maybe you're not even fitted for what you're doing. And it can actually be that extreme. So. It definitely affects my mental health like in ups and downs, but overall definitely positive because it gives me something to attach myself to. I would say in my lowest point, just I, I honestly couldn't really like hear music anymore. No matter whose it was, it just kind of sounded like nothing to me. And there was no note or no sound or anything in life that really inspired me. And that felt really weird, but in the end, it was kind of just because I wasn't doing anything. And all I was doing was letting that like drill sergeant, like gotta get this out fast. That nature and that like, not a character in my head, but that, those traits were taking over everything and it didn't allow any space for the creative aspect to like flourish. Yeah, I feel like when you add a lot of things that other people like, it's hard to put your full heart into it. And I feel like the listeners also can feel that. And it can also just kind of seep over like, who are you? What are you doing? What is your purpose? If your only purpose is to please people. And yeah, I feel like staying on the topic of just like doing it your way and kind of making sure it's authentic with you should just be like the first step every time. Otherwise I feel like it's just gonna kind of bring you into a, like a downward spiral of just like worse and worse and then yeah kind of just I don't feel like it's a good way to create music at all. I would say that creating is always in the long run going to be a positive effect on your mental health and of course there's going to be ups and downs but I feel like being a creative there's nothing more truly fulfilling in life than uh, creating something that your soul wants you to create and uh, fully viewing it as an expression of yourself. So definitely. You know, when you're in that moment, you know that you have a deadline to hit and you're just really concerned about producing content at that particular, you know, either an election or whatever moment it is. Um, after that, it is kind of interesting because you do go home and you do digress that information. You're like, okay, so we put all of this out and we fact checked everything. Um, I think it was a little easier to do it, you know, whenever I was working in the news and being able to have that mental health stability. Now I think it's a little bit 
more intrusive because you have social media out there. So people are commenting. They're not just emailing the station and you know, you're reading all the emails. It's now on all the social media pages, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of it. So all that feedback is coming from so many different directions that I think it would be a little bit more difficult to actually be in the news field at this point. We were still criticized even before social media. I mean, there was a lot of things that would happen on a daily basis. I mean, it wasn't unusual for us to have um, emails, you know, that were, you know, citing death threats and things like that. And it was just an everyday thing, and we just kind of got used to it, which is kind of scary. Um, but now that everything has kind of progressed, the thing with that is they have opened up a lot more availability with mental health. Um, it's not such a stigma to be able to reach out for those, you know, particular items that you might need, like whether that be counseling or talking to somebody it's, it's it's a lot more accepted now so I think it has gotten better there was probably you know there was a little rough spot in between as the social media started to come on because really we they didn't have they didn't have the information that they do they're like oh you know this is definitely probably affecting us more because they didn't have that data to back it up yet so I think now it's a lot better than it would than it was when social media first came out Um, I would say COVID really kind of started the biggest creative block. Um, it didn't help that I moved pretty far and didn't really know any of the creatives in the area, but uh, slowly you just kind of figure out what's going on and who knows what they're doing and who doesn't, and you just have to push your way through any of those ruts. And yeah, COVID kind of just slowed down everything in the industry. Yeah, so the way that it kind of impacted me day to day was that whenever I would wake up, I felt like I had to create something. I kind of pushed myself to have to do what I wanted to do. I would sit in front of the computer for hours at a time just trying to find my way. So it kind of just pushed me away from everything else in life. Yes, it definitely it invades your mind a lot. Instead of thinking about your own projects, you're constantly worrying about other people's projects or projects that you're working on for other people. So instead of coming up with my own ideas, I'm just constantly thinking of ways to improve other people's ideas. As a creative, I'm wanting to work on my own, of course, instead of working for other people. So I want to be able to focus on my own projects instead of constantly working for other people, but you kind of have to just find a balance.